This is Allen Ginsberg, a poet, a beat poet from the 60s. The 60s and hippies, right? They're about peace and love. It's an illusion. Peace and love without Jesus Christ is not peace and love. And Allen Ginsberg, a poet that many people reference, and he's part of like the lexicon of our world, right? Oh, beat poet Allen Ginsberg, he's famous. And he's seen here with a flower because he's such a hippie and he's about peace and love. But if you look next to that, he's got the sign of success on his hand, three sixes. And he does it again here. The sign of success in this world, three sixes. The sign of success in this world, three sixes. Not a coincidence, he's doing a Freemasonic satanic hand sign. Here he is, sticking out his tongue for some reason. Think about this, brothers and sisters. How often do you pose for a picture and do this? It seems pretty unnatural for a grown person to do this. Here they are, standing outside a Buddha statue, and there's uh, Timothy Leary, the father of LSD. Look, they're doing a praying pose. I bet they're praying to Jesus, not... Here's Lou Reed reading Allen Ginsberg's most, most famous poem, Howl. And this is Lou Reed covering half his face, having one eye symbolism, and doing the Osiris Risen Freemason pose. In Howl, Allen Ginsberg's poem, he talks about Moloch a bunch of times, and Moloch is a biblical name for the Canaanite god associated with child sacrifice. How nice is that? Allen Ginsberg was part of NAMBLA, the North American Man-Boy Love Association. It's promoting pedophilia and homosexuality. That's great. Daniel Radcliffe played Allen Ginsberg in a movie in 2013. Here's Daniel Radcliffe, the atheist, <clears throat> and he's covering one eye, covering half his face, having one eye revealed for one eye symbolism, and he's got the sign of success on his hand, just like Allen Ginsberg. But it's probably just a coincidence. The world is biblical, everyone, and I know you know this, brothers and sisters, but many people still don't. This is an example of how so many things connect the dots and notice how they all left Jesus Christ out of things and showed you things of the world. Do what you want. It's all right with, you know, that's not, that's not the meaning of life. The meaning of life is to have faith in Jesus Christ. He's the potter. We're the clay. We should listen to him. He's God. God bless you, everyone.